But when they came through here with the surveyor in the 1830s and whenever it was black ash uh, and elm swamp, black ash elm swamp, so raw material was black ash. And black ash grew in a, in a dense forest, very thin and very tall. And so they made absolutely fabulous lakes for derricks and they didn't rot the way white ash does. You have the well, which is, is about four inches and then inside it is an inch quarter pump with a packer and valves and all that sort of thing. You have to pull that out, unscrew the things, put them down on benches and fit them up. So it's the horse that actually pulled all this stuff out of the hole. So you can't see from here, but there is a man climbing the ladder on the derrick. He's taking a, 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 a pulley up to the top of the apex of the derrick and hanging it in the clevis up there. And on that is sitting a cable to the pump and then down to another pulley on the ladder leg and then to the horse. The horses walk out and as they walk out they pull the pump up. When they get the 35 feet up then they put an elevator which is it's just a, a clamp that goes under the collar to hold it. The horse backs up a bit. They unscrew the pipe, put it down on, on benches and then um, pull the whole thing out it up, the horses also sand pump the well and then put it all back together again.